And now to the Champlain Towers collapse and alarming findings about what first responders and search and rescue teams were exposed to while working on that site. And tonight, there are concerns about possible health effects down the line. And researchers are now focusing on the first responders' feet. Local 10 News Investigator Jeff Wines here is live in Surfside to explain. Jeff. Nicole, if you worked at, on, or around the Surfside building collapse, researchers want your toenails. Unlike 9-11, medical monitoring is happening sooner than later. A first responder will be able to clip their toenails, mail them to us, and we send them to the lab, and we'll be able to see the exposure that they had um, to heavy metals over a long period of time. They were exposed day after day. Air quality was monitored. What we found was high levels of certain compounds that we know are carcinogenic that were in the air. But what about effects from long-term exposure? Researchers at UM's Sylvester Comprehensive Care Center and Miller School of Medicine hoping close to 1,000 people participate. Police, firefighters, volunteers, all using toenails. We'll do this over two years. Um, you know, your toes grow at a very slow rate. So our, you know, our hypothesis is that we will see in the next few months a, a peak level of heavy metals based on uh, the exposures they had at Surfside. During the search and recovery, 48 wristbands were worn by rescue and recovery workers at the debris pile. 29 wristbands were placed around the site. Those wristbands had little holes where compounds could seep in. High levels of silica from pulverized construction material were found. It can cause silicosis, long-term lung disease. It's something that sticks into the the lining of the lungs. Uh, so that is something that, that is of concern. What about people who live in the area? Any um, community member that, uh, you know, was near the Surfside or lives in the area, they're more than welcome to also participate. And those residents who do want to participate who live nearby can send an email request. We have that email at our website, local10.com. Several firefighters have already signed up. Over a thousand people are eligible, people who worked here and the support staff that worked all around this area for months. We're live in Surfside, Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News. Okay, Jeff, thanks a lot.